In this presentation, we're going to see how to set up inventory not invoiced for Microsoft Dynamics NAV. We look at the inventory posting setup, the general posting setup. We'll work out an example to see how it works and we draw our conclusions. Question is, what accounts should we set up in terms of balance sheet or profit and loss? And do we have same of or different accounts? So let's have a quick look at the inventory posting setup. We'll be interested in the inventory account and inventory account interim. And now let's go to the general posting setup. And you may have to display some fields. So we'll be interested in the cost of goods sold. And you need to display uh, inventory accruals account interim, cost of goods sold interim account. We have renamed slightly two accounts. Inventory account interim, it is now inventory account interim received not invoiced and cost of goods sold interim is now cost of goods sold interim cost of shipped not invoiced. So we'll do an example to see how it works. We create a purchase order, receive it, do a partial invoice, same for sales order, shipment partial invoice. We look at the result in the chart of accounts, the inventory valuation, and we, anal we analyze margin by time. So let's start by creating a purchase order, which we've done already. We have 10, and we're going to receive 10 on the 1st of June. Okay, so we've received 10 at $1,000, so for total. Now our inventory total is $1,000 and finish good interim, $1,000. Okay, that's one part of it. And the second part of it is on our received not invoiced account. $1,000 and we've put it, you can see, just below the accounts payable. Let's have a look at the inventory valuation report now. First, we don't tick include expected cost. If we don't, we don't see our 10 items. So we need to tick include expected cost all the time. And we see our 10 item valued at $1,000. Now let's receive some of it on the 2nd of June. Let's say we're going to receive 7. And we're going to see in the chart of account the result. So first, we'll start with the inventory account. We should still have $1,000 total, but now it's and we do have that, and now it is spread between interim and finished goods. So 700 finished and it's only 300 in interim. So seven and three. So let's go down and see. Our received not invoiced account. So now we have only 300 in our received not invoiced account. And we can see in the vendor domestic we have 700 plus the GST. 
and if we go to the inventory valuation report as before we untick it to see what it is untick include expected cost we only see the seven invoiced so that's not what we want we want to see all our inventory so let's tick include expected cost we see the ten items in stock and we need to look at expected cost included total even if it's not the one in bold now we have created a sales order for the same item for quantity to ship and let's ship that at the 5th of June so we ship 4 you can see we've displayed also the shipped not invoiced field quantity and value let's go to the chart so we'll start again with the with the inventory account so we have still 606 in stock but now system say we've got 100 in interim so where does it come from we have our now 400 for quantity in shipped not invoiced the cost of shipped not invoiced 400 and we had previously 400 received not invoiced so this finished good interim is the sum of of both received not invoiced and cost of shipped not invoiced if we look at the inventory valuation report we still keep include expected cost ticked and we see 700 and 100 so our 100 is the expected cost that reflects the expected cost inventory interim account so now let's go back to the sales order and we just invoice one on the 6th of June we go back to the inventory account now in terms of inventory we still have six in stock the shipped not invoice is 300 three not invoice and we don't see anything anymore in the finished goods interim just because the received not invoice 300 is equal to the shipped not invoiced cost so that's a bit odd but one balances the other 300 received not invoice 300 shipped not invoice that's why we don't see anything in the interim account inventory interim and just to double check on the inventory valuation we don't see anything in the expected cost as well now to explain the ship not invoice figure here it's 3 by 150 for 450 plus GST let's invoice the remaining and we're going to do it one by one one for the 7th of June and just one on the on the 8th and one on the 9th so everything is going to be invoiced for the sales order If we go back now to the chart, in stock we still have 600 and we see the 300 in interim for the just reflecting the received not invoiced, no more ship not invoiced. 
So now things are in the customer domestic, the debtor account. And we'll finish our example by posting the purchase order on the 10th. So three more to receive the invoice. And so in our inventory, still six, 600 in stock, but nothing in the interim account anymore. No more ship not invoiced cost, no more received not invoiced. So now let's go to the profit and loss account. So the revenues, the cost, and we find the margin. So we've sold four items at 150 and 100 cost. So that's our revenue, 600 total revenue. So our cost 400, and we, so we're making a margin of 200. Now you can see there are so that our cost, cost of goods sold. There are two additional accounts. 1,000 and 1,000 that balance another purchase and direct cost applied. So it's a nil result. Let's go to our gross margin and analyze it day by day. So 50 spread into different days as we sold it, we invoiced it into different days. So that's correct. We have the revenues and the cost coming, cost of goods sold coming on the same day exactly. So that's our sales, 150. And now, should we have one or two accounts? If we have just have one account, it balances. But if you have different accounts, you can see that you bought 700 at one in one day and 300 in another day. So it can be interesting to see that. See the reverse just on the same day. So our interim inventory accruals account is the received, not invoiced. And that excludes the VAT or GST component. So it needs to be a balance sheet account and you can put it where you want what we've done we've put it just below beneath the account payable receive not invoiced excluding GST our interim cost of goods sold account is a cost of shipped not invoice but we see that we don't really have the ship not invoice the sales amount so we've renamed that again and that needs to be a balance sheet account as well. So we've set up this account to be below the accounts receivable but you can put it where you want and actually that just the cost component we don't have the sales component. It's interesting though we can see how it changes over time and we have all the transaction beneath so if we drill down but unfortunately if we want to see what's remaining it's hard to to say so it's not a standard report we at match business solution we've made a report that could go backward to give at any point of time the shipped not invoice so here we see not only the cost, the 200 that what we have, but also the sales amount, what we're going to invoice. And in the inventory posting setup, the inventory account interim equals the expected cost in the inventory valuation report, but it's kind of a composite data, so it's hard to use it because it's both the received not invoiced and the cost of the shipped not invoiced. We also recommend to use one direct cost apply account for one purchase account and one cost of goods sold for one sales account. And we'll keep the inventory adjustment account 
separate. So here, the so direct cost applied, we would recommend to have a one for one purchase account. Cost of goods sold, we recommend getting one cost of goods sold for one sales account and put that inventory adjustment account in a different range so it's still a P&L but in a different range.